You've probably never thought about it, but buildings are a fundamental part of our lives. We spend almost 90% of our lives in buildings, and because there are more than a billion of them in the world, they consume almost half the world's energy. This makes buildings responsible for 40% of carbon emissions in the U.S. alone. That's more than the total emissions from cars. And because the Earth's climate is becoming more extreme, future buildings will need to better withstand storms and floods and earthquakes in order to keep us safe. Clearly, what we need is the science of buildings. Well, we have one. It's called architectural engineering. Architectural engineers solve all of these problems. They combine their technical expertise with their passion for design to create buildings that are sustainable, safe, and beautiful. More than just creating the spaces where we live, work, and play, architectural engineers leave a mark on the world that lasts far beyond their own lifetimes. Buildings are central to human life, our day-to-day -day life has everything to do with the buildings that we're in. But buildings are not purely artistic and they're not purely rational. And people and how we experience buildings are not purely rational or purely creative. Architecture, it's a design major, right? So you're not really focused on you know, the nuts and bolts of the thing. You, you envision the grand scheme of the project. Like, what is this thing gonna be? What is this design? Whereas the engineer says, okay, you know, that's a cool design. But how does this actually get built? Architectural engineering is more focused on building systems, what makes up the building. So you have like your structure, what holds up the building, and then you have your mechanical systems, so like how things are heated and cooled and how you keep people comfortable inside the building. So that's why it's, it's kind of a science of buildings, because you ha you're bringing in this technical knowledge to solve problems. So our keys pro solve anything from you know, a load analysis, which is figuring out like whether the uh, structure is going to be able to hold up, all the way to understanding the budget of a project. Instead of looking at how to design a building from the ground up, Building Forensics is going into an existing building and seeing like, okay, this building failed. Why did it fail? And that to me is like really fun because it's kind of like detective work. It's like an investigation. Sustainability is becoming increasingly important in part because we are becoming more aware of the changes that are happening to our environment and the world around us. So what architectural engineers provide are the actual knowledge and technical knowledge to sort of say like, this is what we should do. That can mean like the, down to the materials that we choose, you know, or the construction process. How do you reduce the amount of waste coming off of a construction site? How do you design a building so that it consumes as little energy as possible to begin with, you know, because the sun has a huge impact on buildings. How do you mitigate that? One of the key ways in which architectural engineering can influence the health of a building is through indoor air quality because it's influenced so much by the way that the structure of a building facilitates airflow as well as the mechanical sides of how much heat or particulate matter or pollutants or energy, right? all of those things that are happening with the, the HVAC system and the materials of a building. People who look at things like how carpets off-gas pollutants, how they hold particulate matter that then gets re-agitated and enters the air again through vacuuming. Those kinds of studies are being done by architectural engineers You know, UT has everything in Austin. There's, you can find anything that you want to do. It's such a diverse community around uh, the campus. Uh, I mean, campus is 10 minutes from downtown. Um, it's 10 minutes from pretty much anywhere that you really want to go. The Cockerell Engineering School is incredible. It is highly nationally and internationally ranked. I really wanted to go to a well-ranked school because I knew that that would change the way that my resume looked. Being in Austin and having so many industry professionals at the ready to come talk to us and come work with us, you have a lot of professors who are currently working in industry and they have been working in industry but now are uh, are, are wanting to teach and wanting to bestow some of the experiences and knowledge that they've gained. Being able to kind of see everything that we're doing in class, in practice, in Austin, and, and talk with all the big companies that are working in Austin and how they're implementing the stuff that we're learning in class really helps help make the connection for whenever you graduate. Architectural engineering is a wonderful place to be. If you have a really wide breadth of interest and skill, if you're really interested in a creative application of engineering, if you're really interested in a holistic idea 
of a project, both the design elements and the technical elements. Architectural engineering is a great fit.